Today I want to cover a concept that can get really confusing for students about conjugates. I want to clear this up before we go further in lecture. You already learned that the stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate base. The reverse is true. The stronger the base, the weaker the conjugate acid. This is kind of like a teeter-totter. As one gets stronger, the conjugate gets weaker. As the original one gets weaker, the conjugates get stronger. Now I want to take a look at a couple examples. We've got all these here, and I hope you're okay that these are all the conjugates. Okay? Make sure you can generate the conjugates. And now take a look at this. You probably recognize these bases here as being very strong bases. You recognize the acids as being uh, one of some of our strong acids. Well, note this. As the, let's take a base, like sodium hydroxide. As the base gets stronger, the conjugate should get weaker. Well, how weak can a conjugate acid or sodium plus get? What's the weakest, weakest acid strength, if you think about it? Well, we know low pH is pretty acidic, a pretty strong acid. But we have a conjugate acid here that's really weak. So that means we have a relatively high pH. Well, what's the highest pH that an acid could have? Well, in this case, the highest pH that acid could have is 7. What does 7 mean? It's actually neutral. And that's going to be true of all of these. In general, we would say the conjugate of a strong is so weak that it is effectively neutral. So all of these here, all of these conjugate, conjugates are neutral. Why? Because that's the weakest they could possibly be. So if this is an acid, its conjugate base is so weak, it's neutral. Uh, and so you need to understand this concept, and especially whenever you see a strong acid or strong base, to know its conjugate is neutral. Now what else is interesting about this? You should recognize these molecules, or these ions from Chem 2A. What are those? These are our old spectator ions. Remember we talked about spectator ions before? A spectator ion is something that is in the reaction, but not involved in the reaction, and so we effectively cancel it out. But we didn't say much more about it. However, now you know what a spectator ion is. It's the conjugate of a strong. And the conjugates of the strong is neutral, and that's why it doesn't do anything. So there you go.